Hi kids, welcome to Summer Sunday School. Did you know that it's a good thing to get help when you need it? We all need help at some time. And that's what happened to the man in our story today. His name was Barnabas, and he was a Christian man who was known as a man who encouraged other people. He helped them to know about Jesus and to feel good about themselves and about their lives and, and just help them be a better Christian. But Barnabas knew when he met some new Christians that he could not teach them everything they needed to know all by himself. He needed help. And so he included a man named Paul, who used to be known as Saul, and the two of them together formed a wonderful partnership. Watch this story. Many Christians were bullied for their faith in Jesus, so they left Jerusalem. Wherever they went, they told other Jews about Jesus. Some went to a city called Antioch and told people who were not Jews about Jesus. The non-Jews were called Gentiles. Antioch was north of Jerusalem in the country of Syria. Barnabas went there to find out what was going on. He was thrilled to meet new Christians in Antioch and he encouraged them to obey God. He was a man full of the Holy Spirit and faith and many more people became Christians through him. The new Christians in Antioch needed someone to teach them about God, so Barnabas went to find someone to help. He went to Tarsus where Saul, who was now called Paul, was living. Paul had once been against the Christians, but now he was a Christian himself. Barnabas asked Paul to go with him to Antioch to help the new converts. Paul agreed to go. Paul was with them for over a year. One day, as these men were worshiping and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Dedicate Barnabas and Paul for the special work that I want them to do. So after more fasting and prayer, the Christian leaders laid their hands on Paul and Barnabas and sent them on their way. A cousin of Barnabas called John Mark joined them on their trip. The men traveled to the town of Seleucia. They got on board a ship that was sailing for the island of Cyprus, Barnabas owned some land there, and some of the Christians had moved there to get away from the bullying. The missionaries landed at Salamis on Cyprus. They began teaching in the synagogue about Jesus. Paul and Barnabas traveled from place to place throughout the island, teaching in synagogues and encouraging Christians. Eventually they arrived at Paphos, where the Roman ruler lived. He sent for Barnabas and Saul because he wanted to hear the word of God. A Jewish magician and false prophet named Bar-Jesus tried to stop Paul and Barnabas. Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Bar-Jesus and said, You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of trickery. The Lord is going to make you blind for a time, unable to see the light of the sun. Immediately darkness came over Bar-Jesus, and he groped about trying to find someone to lead him by the hand. When the Roman leader saw this, he believed in the Lord. At Paphos, Paul, Barnabas, and Mark boarded a ship to continue their travels. That was only the beginning of their partnership. God did a lot of wonderful things through Paul and Barnabas, and because of it, many people became Christians. They followed Jesus, and they went to be with him in heaven one day. I hope that all of you have a really good week this week, and don't forget that if you need help, it's a good thing to ask. I'm sure mom and dad would be happy to help you with whatever you need to do.
Some of you have made some beautiful drawings and sent them in that we will pass on to the homeless people. Thank you so much for making them. I like them so much that I wanted to show them to everyone. And I even had a little bit of fun with them coloring some in to see what they look like colorized. I wonder if that's the colors you would have chosen if you colored them in. Mm -hmm.